in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you're welcome to another spirit filled message on 50 centric message if you're new to this channel I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit you always thank you for watching be blessed apostle my family members did not come with me but they asked me to represent them it doesn't matter one encounter the power of God master he says he told the centurion let me come to your house to honor you being a captain in the army he said no for i am also like you a man under authority i understand the stretching power of authority i may be limited as a person but the roman government has a jurisdiction and that whoever is under the influence of that government can feel the effect of the government so they may not be here but the earth is still the lord's so they are still within the jurisdiction of his reach and if you are a man under the authority of that owner then the power of god should flow riding on the integrity and the sovereign power of that owner to touch anybody anywhere this i believe this i believe this i believe apostle i don't even know the name of my situation I've gone to the hospital. They have done everything. Jesus, if he said he was just healer, we would have found reason to be afraid later on. But he says, I am the resurrection and the life. What is resurrection? Giving life to something that has no business having life. Resurrection. Resurrection. I am he that was dead, but now is alive. Apostle, I came here with my CV. Is it that God cannot give me a job? I've gone around looking for jobs again and again. I've applied everywhere. God should see my family. What then is the blessing if the anointing cannot change the situation? What does it mean to be a blessing as a man of God? Does it mean to preach well? Does it mean to be sympathetic to people's situation? As important as that is sympathy does not produce result it only provides comfort god did not call us to be sympathizers no he says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me too then he begins to list all the things that will happen and then at the end of all of those things he says to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called oak or the trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might in their result be glorified john chapter 17 and verse 1 jesus christ lifted up his eyes to the heavens praying and he taught us a principle there verse one he says father the hour has come and then he said glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee so how is god glorified when the son is glorified how is god glorified as a healer when the son is healed when the daughter is healed how is god glorified as a lifter when the son is lifted when the daughter is lifted how is god glorified as a deliverer the dimension of god that he gets glory from is the dimension that the result manifests in your life he cannot be glorified as one who is quick and powerful until your life testifies it your goodness is real I testify your goodness is real your favor is real I testify your power is real I testify how then do you know the favor of God is real listen 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 your faith must grow to trust 
The difference between faith and trust is that faith is predicated on God's integrity. Are we together now? It, uh, on who God is. But trust is based on his integrity and his track record. You cannot trust a man until there is a track record. Are we together? If I'm meeting you for the first time, Dr. Emeka, and they tell me you are a doctor, I will have faith in you. I can't trust you. It's too early. It's too early to trust you. I will see what your injection does for me. Are we together now? When you give me an injection and I cannot walk, what should happen to you? When you give me an injection, I am fine. Then I come to you and you give me a recommendation and it works. I begin to note you and associate you with my joy. And then eventually I conclude that this man is worth my belief. This man is also worth my staking my all to. So that the day you give me an instruction that I do not understand, I can reach back at the archives of your track record and say, I may not know what you are saying, but I know what you said and I know what I saw. Genesis 21, verse 1. Genesis 21. I testify, I testify that your goodness is real. I testify, I testify that your goodness is real. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did to Sarah as he had spoken. Trust in the Lord. How do you trust in the Lord? Take cognizance of his benefits, be observant. What did he do in 2001? What did he do in 2005? You see, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, on the strength of that track record, they named him. They gave a name that should not change. A testament of their trust. A testament of their trust. So your assignment is to believe that God is able. Take your eyes away. I repeat, take your eyes away. Please take your eyes away from anything that is not Jesus tonight and focus. Apostle, they prayed for me. A prophet just like you prayed for me. An apostle just like you prayed for me. A pastor even conducted night vigils in our house. I know and I respect God and I respect the grace upon that man. Except that one more thing I did not teach you about the anointing is that not every anointing blesses you. The man must be sent. There were many widows in Zarephath, but to none was Elijah sent. When the word of God passes you, it does not bless you. It is when it is sent. He sent, not brought. He sent for. It was when the king sent for Joseph that his life changed. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything. Not when you moved around. When I sent thee. Because every time he sends it, his integrity is upon it. Tonight, God is sending his word. To me, to you, to us, the word that leads, the word for your ministry, the word for your life is going to be a quick walk. Some of you write from the communion. As you partake from the communion, you finish your own miracle service. You will just join others in rejoicing. It's true. You know, yesterday I observed and we learned yesterday that the reason why the communion does not produce is because we are only eating bread and juice we have not discerned it the bible says there is a sin that a man can commit the sin of not discerning the lord's body you cannot discern the possibilities that come from that body for many years i took communion and i was left in the dark as to the relevance of this thing in my life I would just take the wafer and take the, the drink and then stop there. Nothing happened. Until I found out that the life-giving factor of everything is understanding. Understanding is what gives life. 
to the spiritual activities and the processes that we're involved with so it is not enough to just hear it is not enough to just do it is the understanding that sponsors what we do that produces the results i don't know if there are people here tonight who are here insisting that as surely as there is a god in heaven whatever i came with i must leave it here tonight it is important god is giving you understanding now when i came into the house of the lord then understood i the house of god is bethel not just a place of bread but a place where the bread is broken two men met jesus in m house and they began to discuss the messiah and he was there with them but they could not see and then when he broke bread the bible declares that their eyes were open and he departed My assignment is to continue to study continually by the spirit the processes that makes for the liberty of the saints much more than the transformation of the saints much more than providing an atmosphere for encounters the saints need to be brought to a point where they encounter the reality of God's power the power of God can be encountered hallelujah so we're going to partake of the communion very quickly and for many of you this will be one communion you will not forget it doesn't matter even if you are the one who serves your own communion you may serve it like a ritual the wafer does not have any power to do anything for you the bread the cup does not have any power but how shall these things be when I'm using only bread and cup? The power of the highest shall overshadow that emblem. And whatever comes out of it can produce any result. A handkerchief and an apron is not even alive. Talk more of having faith. But when his divine power comes upon it, it becomes an instrument of signs and wonders. The air that you breathe and the sound that is produced from you does not sustain any power except that when your speaking becomes the voice of God, then it is no longer the words of men. John said, I am the voice of one. So when you hear me, you hear that one. Hmm. Hallelujah. When it's time to pray for the sick, I'd like you to believe God. Believe God to set people free. We'll do it very fast because there are so many people and praying for the sick takes a lot of time. We'll do it fast and then after that we'll do the deliverance and the impartation and whatever it is that needs to leave you, it must go. It must go this night. It must go this night. Please jump up on your feet. Your divine power. Your divine power able to lift me to a higher dimension in the spirit your divine power is someone praying on the last day of the feast jesus came and said is anyone thirsty is anyone thirsty the final day of the feast go ahead and pray please inside outside lift your voices and pray Are you praying lord i believe it is your divine power now i know how the results will come your divine power i know how the lifting will come your divine power i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me i am under the shadow Your influence is all over me. We are under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. 
We are under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. Yeah. your voice and pray. Sabarando Seneca Tabariatash. Tonight is my night. I discern. I discern. Sabrakato Seneca Prashd. Endele Gabrande Zedika Shobragada Baladabash. Krato Zazigada Barunde Ketosh. Embrakato Zaleke Pradish. Shebradika Posh. Rakato Bariada Baladabash. Raka to barin deskemeritash. Raka paruda siyada baladada bar. He barando jele karusiyada baladada bar. Please keep praying. Hallelujah. John chapter 6. John chapter 6. We'll begin our reading from verse 49 to 56. John chapter 6. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. Next verse. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. 51. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, not is like my flesh. Is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world. 52. And the Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? 53. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Stop here. Just, just go back. Just go back. This is what he's saying. That in the flesh of the Son of Man and in the blood of the son of man is his life that the life of the flesh is in the blood are we together now listen very carefully so that when you partake please keep that scripture when you partake of it with understanding the bible says that you are not just taking a waffle you are not just taking a drink but that you are you are opening up yourself to partake of the life of god next verse 54. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood, hath, I told you the word there is not eternal life. It's the word zoe. It's not the longevity of the life, but the quality of the life. And I will raise him up on the last day. 55. We're stopping at 56. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. The last verse. He that eateth my flesh, this is it, and drinketh my blood, dwelleth in me, and I in him. This is a theological concept called the doctrine of interpenetration. Is the system by which two separate entities are interwoven to become one. The same mystery in marriage, the same mystery with the spirit of God. So that by the mystery of partaking in the communion, that means the spirit should not know the difference between your body and God's body. Are we together now? Yes. Let me tell you what that means. Come. Look at this. Emeka, come. Watch this. If this lady is his wife and she's weak and he's strong, his strength is her own too. You understand that? Are you getting me? Not part of his strength. His strength. So if you say she's strong, you are right. Are we together now? This is very important now. That means that when she's strong, and he's weak, 
her strength is his strength through interpenetration and so now when you partake of this although your body may be weak and frail although your finances may be weak and frail although your ministry may be weak and frail although your body may be ravaged by all kinds of demons but here you are introducing like you are shaking the hand of the other partner in a wrestling and here he comes through this mystery as little as this is let me tell you when you understand this mystery you will not even be able to hold this thing you see like this hallelujah i'm going to pray on this and then we're going to distribute it around it's simple enough for you to open you just here open the wafer and then the drink and please the moment you do do not litter the ground do not litter the ground i don't know what provision has been made for that but if no provision has been made whilst you take it provided you are not under the anointing just pass it to the last person at the aisle and then you make it easy for the ushers or whoever is involved to just pick them up you can use the off the bowls or whatever you have to have them we're going to pray please pray in one minute and mention the things that must lead your life because they are not found in the life of the Christ please pray by wisdom oh God Heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the season. Creating day and night, turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to your pleasing. But I can't Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, whose words brings in the evening. Please pray in one minute. We discern your body. We discern your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, it should go around. I believe that they just brought this to represent the communion. I'm going to pray on this. This is ordinary welfare and a drink. But not after the power of God comes upon it. It says anything receives power after the Holy Ghost comes on it. Not just men. You shall receive power. The you can be this. Can receive power. Provided the Holy Ghost comes on it. He didn't say men shall receive power. No. Anything receives power when the Holy Ghost comes upon it. Your pain receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your ministry receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your communion receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon this. I lay my hands upon this communion representing all others that are not here I decree oh God that in a very strange way may your power flow through this in the name of Jesus let it bring miracles let it bring all kinds of deliverances in the name of Jesus whoever partakes of this tonight in the name of Jesus I declare instantly may your power begin to rest upon them let all kinds of breakthroughs begin to happen. Let infirmities give way in the name of Jesus. Let deliverances, let devils and demons begin to leave. Let doors begin to open. In the name of Jesus Christ. My flesh is meat indeed. 
we partake with understanding we partake with understanding please make sure everybody something will begin to happen to you as you partake of this you will marvel and wonder at the power of the communion Take it with faith and watch the wonder-working power, the wonder-working power of Jesus, the wonder-working power of Jesus. Bring all those under the anointing out. Please bring them out quickly. While we wait for the rest to finish, please just bring them out quickly. Something is opening up in your spirit, man. My flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. Please bring those under the anointing. There is a reason why I ask you to bring them. I want to pray for them. Something is already happening in the realm of the spirit. Please be patient tonight. God is setting people free. When there is understanding to your spiritual activity, then the power is released. The power is released. You will not believe the kinds of burdens that are leaving people already. Mm. My flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. He that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life. Shalabara da gata pranda gata karu 
Alanda rapa sobada kata balakatus. It says every tree that has not been planted by my father will be uprooted is it not written in your word that for this purpose the son of god was made manifest that he may destroy i decree in the name of jesus we are going to begin to minister now that every force that is not of the christ Right now, I decree and declare by an apostolic and a prophetic rod scattered around this crowd, inside and outside, everybody under any kind of bondage, I decree, be free now. Be free now. I command judgment on strange spirits. In the name of Jesus. The spirits of ancestry, the workings of bloodlines and territories, I come against you by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, there is liberty. Listen, we are still praying. Please pay attention. I'm praying now. The Lord is showing me families. I'm seeing families under an intense yoke of retrogression. Nothing moves in that family. You can go to school. It doesn't make any difference. You can get a job. It doesn't make any difference. Have a business. It doesn't make any difference. I stretch my hands. Where are those people? Inside and outside. I declare right now. The power of God is coming upon you. It's time for your family to be released. At the count of three. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I lose your family. I set them free. I set them free. Shamanda kaskabarakata. Embreketeka paroto seteka. Zeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeket
Don't be distracted. Just pay attention, please. Samaraka to Zegedesh. Ilabanda Rahaska Baruka to Zadekata. Paruza Zianakata. Brekatela Kuzianamas. Kratena Zaziamakato. You rise to a level and then you crash back. It's a pattern that exists in families. There's nothing wrong with rising. Keep rising. But you plateau at a level and then you crash back. I stretch my hands now. This is what the Lord is showing me. My God. My God. I decree and declare. The spirit that causes men to rise up and crash back in shame. Represented in anyone here. The legal hold upon which you operate is caused now in the name of Jesus. I release such people right now. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. Overflow 3, please lift your hands. The Lord is showing me something happening in Overflow 3. Overflow 3, please lift your hands. Mighty God. Mighty God, I see a lot of attacks, serious attacks on overflow three. I don't know for whatever reason that the people that are sitting there, I'm seeing a lot of attacks. At the count of three overflow three, I want you to shout the name Jesus and there will be a mighty deliverance there. Overflow three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the gate of a prison and I'm seeing people inside. The gate of a prison, like the front of a prison. And I remember scripture says to open, to set at liberty them that are bound. There are people who are moving but are in prison. All sorts of prisons. Right now I decree and declare, even by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the doors and the chains and the yokes that keep you in bondage, I declare that those chains are loose now. I declare that those chains are loose now. And for all those in front here, representing all those that I'm praying for, I declare not only that the spirits leave you, but that whatever they took from you, as surely as the God of heaven lives, your families must testify of that restoration. Therefore, leave them now. Go, go. Out of them now. In the name of Jesus, release their families. Release their spiritual lives. Release their finances. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, this will lift your hands. I just see angelic activities happening here. And I'm seeing something being removed out of people's stomachs. This is what I'm seeing here. Something is being removed out of people's stomachs. That's what the Lord is showing me. Just this role. I don't know what it is, but God is uprooting something that should not be there by the spirit of the living God. Let it go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. I place the word of God upon that situation. It must let you go right now. The Lord is taking something out. I still continue to see this vision. God is taking something out of people's stomachs. The Spirit of the Lord, there is liberty 
there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty i'm seeing the feet of a man and i'm seeing the feet of a man under chains under chains this is what i see and the lord is showing me fire coming to break and consume the feet i know that this vision is a representation of stagnation again over men and families and i declare right now according to that which the lord has shown me in the name of jesus that anyone whose feet is being tied in the same position right now by the power of the holy spirit right now something is happening to people i decree i decree and i declare let there be liberty now inside outside let there be liberty right now let there be liberty liberty i command progress to your life move forward i push you by prophecy move forward make progress move forward make progress i forbid stagnation move forward make progress I don't know how to pray this prayer now. Those who are fine up here can return to their seats. I want to pray a prayer and this will affect a lot of people. You don't have to bring the people out. I found myself pray this prayer again and again and again and again. Almost everywhere I've traveled in the last two to three months, the Lord has mandated that I pray this prayer. And my goodness, the testimonies that have come from this. This is the Lord walking in the midst of his people. That lady is not yet free, my friend. Osha, be discerning. In the name of Jesus, that lady is not yet free. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power. Moving in this place, we're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing, You are holy, you are holy, you are holy. Please, someone should join the PR can join the ushers, protocol can join the ushers. I want to pray. There is a grace. For speed there is an exact grace speed is not progress no no there is a difference between progress and speed I had an encounter with the Lord and he placed this grace upon my life if not that it happened I know there is advancement and I know there is speed, but I never knew what it was and how it operated until the Lord gave me an encounter. Truly, let me tell you, there is a real grace for speed. And when that grace comes on you, you will join the world in shock as to what becomes of your life. And the Lord wants that grace to come on somebody this night. There's someone here that needs this grace. This is why you came. It's not like you are stagnated, but it takes forever. If you will believe, 
if you will humble yourself this night and open your spirit, you will be surprised. I'm going to pray this prayer. The reason why I ask some people to join is because every time I pray this prayer, people begin to run in the spirit and by the spirit. I don't know why it happens that way. So sensitive. And then it is of the spirit. Please don't ask me why it happens that way. But if you will let me pray this prayer tonight, God can make five years the result of five years to come within even a month. I know it works. When you have this grace on your life, you don't fear delay. It makes no difference. You will gain time within moments. I decree and declare by the privilege of God's grace, I stretch my hands inside, everywhere, overflow, one, two, three, online. Father, I pray right now, let the grace for speed at the count of three come upon someone. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I shift you. Speed. Speed. Speed to your spiritual life. Speed to your finances. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed upon your influence. This is a major answer to your prayer. I declare it again. Speed. Speed, receive it. Receive it. It is not by might, nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. You can be picked up upon the wings of the Spirit and do things that eyes have not seen, that ears have not heard. I pray it again. Those outside, receive it. Those outside, receive it. I declare speed. In the similitude of Elijah, you will run and you will overtake the chariots of Ahab. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray. We have to redeem time. There is a lot to do. Your wife started a journey in the spirit. I'm seeing a prophetic progression in her life. There is a prophetic mantle that is searching for her. It's begun gradually. This woman you are seeing, as frail as she may look, but the hand of God will come upon her and she will speak forth the purposes of God with power. I stretch my hands upon you and I pray that the spirit of God will perfect. Let there be a birthing, a birthing of the things that he has begun upon your life. A betting of the things that he has begun. My friend, come, this man. We may not have time to prophesy to people. There's a lot to do. Lift your hands. I don't know you. You are coming from somewhere. And there are two graces that God is bringing upon your life. Number one is for your own benefit, restoration. That's what I hear. Number two, this speed that you see I prayed for is coming upon you. I stretch my hands. May that grace in the name of Jesus, first for restoration, let there be a restoration of everything the devil has stolen, and then I declare speed. You receive it now. Move forward. Go forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's an elderly woman here called Rebecca. 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 If we talk to people, the time will be gone. We have to honor it so that we can do some other things. Who is that? Rebecca. Please, when you find the person, I want to talk to her. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray for the sick.
this woman is outside you are not inside you are wearing a, a red like wrapper on your head the same with what is down on you Mama, your name is Rebecca. Where are you? From outside? I will pray for you now. I don't know you. I've never seen you, but I want to pray for you. The Lord is going to honor you. I decided to take a pause because um, the Lord just asked me to stand here. That's why I'm standing here. I'm standing here because I saw something that looked like a bird just come out of someone right here like this. Just like that. Just out of someone. This is what I saw. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I'll pray for you. Your name is Rebecca too? Please come. I will pray for you. I found the person I'm ministering to, but I'll pray for you. From where, madam? From where? From area C. Area C. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. What's wrong with your back? Back pain. Yes, this is what I'm seeing. True. You it's get up true, in the morning true. And, true. and then you feel a lot yes, of pain. Sometimes yes. you cannot even wash. Yes, yes. Number two, your chest too. Yes, it's true. Severe it's chest true. around the breast yes, region here. It's true. The Lord it's is setting true. you free it's right now, madam. Yes. In the name of Jesus, let it be over right now and forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! I just had like a car crash in my ears. You know how an accident just happens right now. This is what I just had in my ears. And that the family that that should happen for is in this place. I'm going to pray right now. Be free now. I command death. You are a spirit. I judge you by the God of heaven. And to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. I want to pray for you, madam, in the name of Jesus Christ, that God himself will bless you and not only bless you Where are your children, madam? Huh? They're here. Your children are here? Yes. Where are they? They say, Isaac. 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 And Sarah. This may be the last word, and then we have to pray for the sick. There's a lot. Patience and Isaac. Yeah. Now, only Lord, no day here. Let me just pray for you. If, if you're the only one who can represent us, stand up, please, my friend. Mama, I will pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ because I'm seeing a very major breakthrough coming to this family. The Lord himself is bringing it to a very major breakthrough. I have no business saying anything God did not tell me. I've not prayed the prayer yet, yet you are receiving it. It's the grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. This man will be like a well-watered garden. That the favor of God will call him Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, ma. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, the breakthrough that the Lord shows me. Let it come and come speedily. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are her daughter? Let me pray for you, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ. They will not say there is something in your stomach growing. Huh? I'm rebuking something. They will not tell you that there is a growth that is growing in your stomach. I just laid my hands and God is healing someone in overflow one. Oh, please hold on. There is a growth. There is a growth. There is a growth. This has been characterized by extremely painful your period is extremely painful, but more than that, there is a growth just around your abdominal area, overflow one. You don't have to come out. The power of God is touching that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
My dear, in Jesus' name, by the Spirit of the living God, we declare your liberty. Complete, total, final. In Jesus' name I pray. Praise the Lord. Now, we are going to pray for the sick. Praying for the sick takes a lot of time. Our time is already gone. I, I bless God that there are a number of hands tonight. Now, listen, we believe in the power of God to touch people, to lead people, and most times you would notice in my external ministrations, I don't have time to minister to people one by one, but because this is a miracle service dedicated for that. The Lord has honored us to be a light on this wise in this city, and it is important that we're fair enough to just allow the power of God extend to people. We'll do it very fast. Um, all of the overflows, all of the overflows, I would request that you just move those trusting God for healing particularly. Please, I would request that you move to the front of your projector screen. That's where you are going to be prayed for. Um, the ones that spill over, do I call that overflow five now? I will just request you to be patient. We are going to assign a person or two there to minister to you. But overflow four, three, two, one, and right in here. You are here, you came standing in for someone or standing in for yourself. Please make your way out here very quickly and let's trust the God of heaven to set you free. You are here full of faith. Please stand up, please stand up. If you kneel, there will not be space. Just come, stand. It doesn't matter, you don't have to come in. If you're outside, just go to your overflow, please. Hallelujah. Myself alongside the men and the women of God represented here will be praying for you. Look how many people are trusting God to touch them. Hallelujah. Now please, you don't have to ask anybody to prophesy or speak. Just let them minister to you. If there is need to speak any words, they will let you know. Praise the Lord. There are so many people this night and so we'll do our best so we can gain time and just, just line everybody here and then we'll pray for you. Praise the Lord. Of what you prayed for, just be patient and allow the men of God minister to you while that is happening. Our time is already gone. Please stretch your hands. If you've not submitted your request, um, you can just wave it and someone will pick it up from you, especially for those outside. You're yet to submit your request. Just stretch your hands right here and let us agree. This, hold on please. This is not religion. This is not tradition. This is not a ritual. This is a mystery. It's a revelation. Let us not get used to doing this just as a ritual for the miracle service. Because when we have the form without the power, then it will not bless us. There have been many, many wonderful testimonies that have come out from here. And um, since I'm the only one here, let the men of God minister to you. If you are still being ministered to, just focus on the ministration. But then for all others, just stretch your hands towards me and let's agree that these Egyptians we see today, that we will see no more. Please agree, release your faith and believe we are praying. We may not be able to prophesy to you personally. We may not be able to give you a word of knowledge, but this is a representation of your heart, your pain, your desire, your expectation. The Bible says, and thine expectation shall not be cut short. Stretch your hands and let's agree. There is a God that answers prayers. Is someone praying? Online pray. The overflows pray. Father, we declare. We are declaring as the church. We are releasing an anointing the divine power of God upon these requests. Some of these requests are death sentences. Some of them are humanly impossible situations. 
But unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. In the name of Jesus, we declare upon these requests a representation of the tears and the pain of your people. We decree and we declare. We decree and we declare Manda Prados Kaziza Hashkala Baranda Kata Imbredegetebelekatos. Arise for your people. By the abundance of your mercy, give your people testimonies in the name of Jesus. Jiprakatos, Kalabarakata. Believers, pray. We are agreeing. Likato Janana Katabarados. Jabros Katabaranda Kata. Supernatural manifestations of your power. Supernatural manifestations of your power. Supernatural manifestations of your power. Kela barakata sosa brende ke debash. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare supernatural workings of miracles tonight. We declare healing miracles. We declare miracles of provisions. We declare miracles of jobs. We declare sentences of death are broken. In the name of Jesus, we declare supernatural interception. Angelic interventions tonight. We declare diverse kinds of miracles. Diverse workings of miracles. In the name of Jesus. We declare creative miracles. We call new organs. We call new jobs. We call for children. We call for deliverances of families. We declare miracles on every side. Let tears of family be wiped away in the name of Jesus. We declare diverse testimonies tonight by the workings of miracles, by the divine power of God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your, the heavens are open in the name of Jesus. We thank you for creative miracles. We thank you for money miracles. We thank you for supernatural deliverances. We thank you, Lord, for manifesting your power. We thank you for miracle babies. We thank you for miracle job. We thank you for special miracles. Father, Lord, we thank you for the manifestation of the world you have decreed over our lives. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive answer to every prayer request here tonight in the name of Jesus. We receive answers tonight in the name of Jesus. Special miracles uh, in the name of Jesus. Diverse kinds of testimonies uh, in the name of Jesus. Angelic interventions uh, in the name of Jesus. The supernatural supplies uh, in the name of Jesus. Great open doors uh, in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, O oh God. Uh, in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's give Jesus praise. We agree. That as we have declared, it is done in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. Please give me two minutes. We must do the impartation. We have been fasting. We have been praying. And we have trivialized impartation in the body of Christ. We are always looking for people to lay hands on. Always looking for people to prophesy on. 
So every time we talk about an impartation, there is hardly an expectation. But a real impartation brings results. You can carry something now that you did not come here with. Please believe. An impartation is not just an anointing for ministry. I told you it's a transference of possibilities. Praise the Lord. So in the next two, three minutes, please let your heart be opened. You don't have to bring anybody out under the anointing. Just guide them, but please receive. Please receive. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. No matter the quality of your secret place, you will need impartation. There are possibilities in your life that cannot evolve just from your secret place. You will need to tap into the provision that has been vested in the body. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus. The grace, you don't have to kneel. Please, you don't have to kneel. The grace that makes for a new level of visions. People have lost visions in the body of Christ. We tell lies that we are seeing, but we are not seeing anything. Father, the eyes that see genuine visions, let there be a restoration. Let that mantle fall upon someone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the eyes that can see into the realm of the spirit, the ears that can hear the sound of the spirit, receive it now in the name of Jesus. That prophetic river locked up within your spirit in the name that is above all names. The grace for the prophetic in a new dimension. Who is this grace coming upon? Mabato Zabarakata Embreketeta Upon all flesh, he says, I will pour out my spirit. Receive that anointing now in the name of Jesus. I believe in miracles and I believe that there is a distinct grace for signs and wonders. I'm stretching my hands. I'm seeing a dove. This is what I'm seeing. Just like a bird hovering round. In the name of Jesus Christ, upon as many whose hearts are open, Father, the anointing, the real anointing for signs, for wonders. Inside, outside, especially upon men and women of God. I decree and declare, let this grace for signs and wonders fall upon you now. In the name of Jesus, fall upon you now for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group i say it again for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group receive it in the name of jesus the spirit of wisdom there is a spirit of wisdom it says doth not wisdom cry Wisdom speaking says, with me are, it says, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. It says, with me are riches, wealth, and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness. I declare, the grace to know what to do is called the spirit of wisdom. The grace to know what to do. Let it come upon you right now. Let it come upon you right now. Let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now. Let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now. Please help those under the anointing. Talabarus kanamahashanas. Ratakapalusa ziadas. I want to release favor. The grace that can make a king say up to half of my kingdom. There is a grace for favor. I testify to you people of the living God, there is a grace for favor. It is not of him that runneth, nor of him. It is not of him that, that um, runneth. What's the scripture? Winneth, not of him that runneth, but of the Lord that showeth mercy. 
He said, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. And the reason why you have mercy is because the time to favor her, yea, the set time. Favor will take away hardship from your life. Not just financially, even spiritually. I decree and declare, receive the grace for favor. It's coming upon you. Receive the grace for favor. Receive the grace. Favor in ministry. Favor in business. Favor in ministry. Favor in business. Favor in ministry. Favor in business. In the name of Jesus. Every geography has its favor. May the favor associated with your geography. If it was on the rocks, the king built on the rocks. It was an advantage. If it was the sea, they channeled the water for productivity. Every territory has access to favor. I declare that the favor apportioned for your territory. Let it rest upon you right now. I want to pray for the spirit of revelation to make all men see the fellowship of this mystery. Let me tell you this. I confess to you sincerely under God that by the privilege of God's grace, I'm a student of the word. But I can tell you this. No matter how frequent you read this, there is a spirit that must come on you for your eyes to see. Otherwise, sometimes you will see, but what you will see is error. Sometimes what you will see will deceive you. I'm praying for you. We need revelation. We need revelation. We need revelation. We need revelation. Some of you started with a rich deposit of this spirit. But as it is right now, you open scripture and you don't see anything. All you continue to do is copy the messages of men of God. Verbatim, I declare that a unique grace for revelation. Let it rest upon you right now. Access, inside, access, inside, access, inside into the mysteries of the kingdom. This is the year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I believe there is a grace for wealth. I believe it. I believe there are principles for wealth. I believe there are understandings that can bring resources. But I believe there is a grace. There is an exact spiritual grace that works by causing men to come with their blessing. When that grace came upon Saul, three men holding two loaves of bread each saluted him and gave him one. In the name that is above all names, in this season that God has ordained for the body, that in addition to the prosperity of our souls, in addition to understanding influence and the principles of spiritual transformation, let the grace that can cause a man to rise and become as strong as a nation financially. May that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, I believe there is a grace that shields men from destruction. He said, destroy it not. For there is a blessing in it. Don't touch this one. There is something upon it. I decree and declare. Let the mark that exempts men from terrorism, from kidnapping, from assassination, from accidents. The grace that exempts. Receive it right now. For you and for your family. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. I declare that whatever you have lost coming here, it doesn't matter how long, please believe, release your faith. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I command a sevenfold restoration. I command a sevenfold restoration. Restoration of anointings, of money, of ideas, of relationships, of access, of illumination. In the name of Jesus, I pray for every ministry represented here. Whatever has cramped your wings so that your influence cannot spread beyond certain borders. 
I declare by the power of the spirit, shift to a new dimension. Shift to a new dimension of teaching, of the miraculous, of the demonstration of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will multiply them. They will not be small. I will glorify them. They will not be few. Whatever keeps you small, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that power is broken over you now. All those trusting God for jobs here, you are trusting God, you have agreed with God and said, Lord, settle me, give me an honorable job. I release my faith with you and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that by this time next month, let it please the Lord that you return with testimony. Let me pray for those in business. Father, the grace that came upon Tyre and Sidon, that made them to be called the marketplaces of the earth, I decree and declare that the spirit, not only of innovation, but the mastery to exchange your value, the grace, the fortitude to know how to exchange your value such that you are rewarded. May that grace come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to every dying business here. Hear the word of the Lord. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, whether for you or for your loved ones, we agree by the power that put Jesus in the womb of Mary. In the name that is above all names, it's called the power of the highest that can put a seed in the womb of a woman and keep that seed until it delivers. May that grace and that power come upon you now. We cause barrenness. We cause impotency. In the name of Jesus. Whoever has what it takes to favor you. The Bible says, withhold not good from them that is due when it is within your power. I declare, whoever has the power to support you, the power to help lift you, we compel them by the Spirit to favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray in the name of Jesus. We are rounding off the prayer and fasting. Many of you have stretched your capacity spiritually. I declare the fire of prayer that can burn an incense and cause it to reach heaven. In the name of Jesus, every attack on your prayer life. Shakapo sanakaparagadosh. Reketele kotosobadia. Let the seven lampstands of your prayer life be lit back right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the grace to travail. Receive the grace to pray. Any evil and wicked company and association around your life. You are not free till your association is free. I declare to you, you may be nice, but you are surrounded by wicked people who do not fear God. I declare a separation between you and the wicked. I declare right now divine direction for people who are saying, Lord, what is the next step in this season? Should I stay here or should I go? The Bible says, and thine ear shall hear a voice. Listen, let me tell you, one mistake to me.
this the will of God can cost you years before you return. I declare accuracy of perception in the name of Jesus Christ that the God of heaven will give you peace by all means. In the name of Jesus. The last prayer point and we are done. Thou shall anoint Aaron and his sons and thou shall put upon him some of your honor. Honor is a grace. It is transferable. Honor can be put upon a man. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, therefore, God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. This is not in a competitive manner, but I pray for you. The grace that distinguishes men from the crowd, may that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Let it be from tonight that miracles and testimonies that you have never seen in your life, we release them. Listen, listen. Noah released the dove from the ark after the rain. It returned back as proof that it did not have a resting place. Then he waited a while and returned and he came back with a little olive, an almond tree, an olive plant as a sign that life was restoring he sent it back the third time and it did not come back again this is how testimonies are they can be sent and they return because the condition for them to stay is not there and then they return again and say the anointing is now being introduced in that life and by the third time they are ready to be established i pray for you every long-standing testimony that has already been released from the throne and for whatever means has refused to be established in your life i declare right now in the name of jesus let that testimony manifest in your life now let that testimony manifest in your life now Anyone that says over his dead body for you to succeed, may God answer their prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for all of those who have come from far. I agree with you. I release my faith. Whether for the miracle service tonight or all through the prayer and the fasting, I agree. The same way Moses tabernacled upon the mount and returned with the radiance of the glory upon his face, return with the grace to prove that you met God. Return with the testimonies that prove that you met God. Return with the signs, the wonders, the transformation, the illumination. Return with the evidences of an encounter. In the name of Jesus. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. I sincerely apologize. But we thank the Lord for the encounter tonight. You will live to testify. Very quickly, please, let's, let's settle down. Very quickly, please just help that woman so she doesn't injure anyone. There are people here Please listen, overflow, one, two, three, four, online. There are people here who probably have been attending the conference or just came in here tonight. And whilst you heard me teach and whilst you saw the things that the Lord did in this place, the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need Jesus. Jesus is not an idea. Jesus is not something and someone you can do without. I believe with all my heart that and please prepare to clear the way for them overflow one two three if you're at the door please shift there are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying apostle if you will make an altar call i need jesus i need him desperately i need him truly there are others who are saying i love jesus but for whatever reason i need a restoration and i need my life back with him 
whether you belong to any of these categories, please, inside and outside. I'm only going to count five. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. I want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand here. It will be my joy and delight to lead you to Jesus. Don't wait for someone to come before you be the first. I'm counting one. Come quickly. Come quickly. Koinonia, let's honor them. Let's motivate them as they come. Please clear the way for those who are coming from outside. Two. Apostle, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them. Join them. Join them. I come from a Christian family. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. I have very good friends. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. The Lord is still talking to someone. I would want to come, but I'm afraid of my friends and those we came with. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, he said, I will be ashamed of you before my father. I believe the Lord is still speaking to a few people. If you're coming, please come quickly. Young, old, make your way. Let tonight be your night of salvation. He says, in the day that you hear his voice, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. If there are any ones coming, just allow them to quickly come. I appreciate every one of you for making this bold decision. Please mean it sincerely and truthfully. Lift your right hand and say after me, believing that Jesus is here. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you that you are the son of God. Tonight, I receive your life. I receive your grace. And I declare, please help them, and I declare that salvation is mine. New life is mine. From today till forever. Jesus is my savior is my Lord, is my friend. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign in life. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.